Hello my dear children. Welcome to maths class. I hope you all are fine. So today we are going to start with our new problem set. So everybody please remove your maths notebook and maths textbook. So let's start with our problem set 45. Now students as I have already explained you in the class how to solve this sums of hours and minutes like in measuring time. Now today we are going to do the problem set 45. So take a new page and write problem set 45 over there. Copy the first question add the following. Now in that write the first sum that is 2 hours 30 minutes plus 4 hours 55 minutes. Now students as I have draw this column same way you have to draw this. You have to make a box and then make the column of hours and minutes. Leave a line and then write the numbers with hours in the hours column and minutes number in the minutes column. So first is 2 hours 30 minutes. So 2 hours 30 minutes plus 4 hours 55 minutes. As I have said you, we have to start the addition from the minutes column. So 0 plus 5 is 5. 3 plus 5 is 7. 75. Then 2 plus 4 is 6. Now students, as I have explained you, when after adding the two numbers in the minutes column, if the number is more than 60, means it is above 60, so you will subtract that bigger number with 60 because there is only 60 minutes. There is no more than 60 minutes. So what we will do, we will subtract that number with 60. Now as we are subtracting this number with 60, we will add 1 in the R column. See this is the way you have to solve. Then we will subtract first this. 5 minus 0 will be 5. 7 minus 6 will be 1. So I am really sorry it is 1. Then 6 plus 1 will be 7. So your answer. Sorry just a minute. Your answer for 2 hours 30 minutes plus 4 hours 55 minutes is 7 hours 15 minutes. Now moving to the next sum. Now students, one page, one sum you have to do. Okay. Next question. 3 hours 50 minutes plus 4 hours 20 minutes. Same way you have to arrange the numbers. Hours in number in the hours column and minutes number in the minutes column. So let's add 0 plus 0 will be 0, 5 plus 2, 7, 3 plus 4, 7. Now here as the number is more than 60, so we will subtract 70 with 60 and add 1 in the R's column. Then 70 minus 60 is 10 and 7 plus 1 is 8. So your answer for 3 hours 50 minutes plus 4 hours 20 minutes is equal to 8 hours 10 minutes. Now the next sum. 3 hours third sum. 3 hours 45 minutes plus 1 hours 35 minutes. Now hours numbers in hours column and minutes number in the minutes column. So 5 plus 5 is 10. So 0 here and 1 carry. 1 plus 4 5. 5 plus 3 8. 3 plus 1 is 4. Now, as the number is more than 60, so we will subtract 80 with 60 and add 1 in the R column. So, 80 minus 60 is 20. 4 plus 1 is 5. So, your answer is 3 hours 45 minutes plus 1 hour 35 minutes is equal to 5 hours 20 minutes. Now, the fourth sum. 4 hours 15 minutes plus 2 hours 50 minutes. As you will draw the column of hours and minutes, then write the hours numbers in the hours column and minute number in the minutes column. So 5 plus 0 will be 5. 1 plus 5 will be 6. 4 plus 2 will be 6. Now here the number is more than 60. So we will subtract 65 from 60. So, sorry, we will subtract 60 from 65. So 5 minus 0 is 5. 6 minus 6 is 0. We will add here 1. So 6 plus 1 is 7. So your answer for 4 hours 15 minutes plus 2 hours 15 minutes is equal to 7 hours 5 minutes. Now moving to our next question. 
that is question number 2 subtract the following first question is 3 hours 10 minutes minus 2 hours 40 minutes now students same way you have to draw the hours column and minutes column then leave one line and write the hours numbers in the hours column and minutes in the minutes column now here 3 hours 10 minutes minus 2 hours 40 minutes now here 10 minus 40 is not possible so we will borrow 1 from 3 so I cut 3 and wrote here 2 but as I have explained you when we will put the hours number in the minute so it will convert from 1 hour to 60 minutes because 1 hour is equal to 60 minutes so here we will not write here 1 we will write here 60 and then we will add 10 plus 60 so the rough work you are supposed to do it over here now 6 plus uh, sorry 60 plus 10 is equal to 70 now 70 is the bigger number we can subtract 40 from that so 70 minus 40 is 30 so your answer here you will write 30 and 2 minus 2 will be 0 so for 3 hours 10 minute minus 2 hours 40 minute is equal to 30 minutes understood now the next sum 5 hours 20 minute minus 2 hours 35 minute same write make the hours and minutes column and put the hours number in the hours and minutes in the minute so now 5 hours 20 minutes minus 2 hours 35 minutes now 20 minus 35 is not possible so what we will do we will borrow 1 from 5 so I borrowed 1 from 5 so I, it is 4 left and 1 I will not write 1 I will write 60 because I am writing in the minutes column so 60 plus 20 will be 80 here I have done the rough work 60 plus 20 will be 80 then we will subtract 35 from 80 so 0 minus 5 is not possible so we will do the pot over here here will be 7 and this will become 10 so 10 minus 5 is 5 and 7 minus 3 is 4. So your answer is 45. So I wrote here 45 and 4 minus 2 is 2. So your answer for 5 hours 20 minutes minus 2 hours 35 minutes is equal to 2 hours 45 minutes. Now the next sum. 4 hours 25 minutes minus 1 hour 55 minutes. Now, you will make the columns hours and minutes, then 4 hours 25 minutes minus 1 hour 55 minutes. So, now 25 minus 55 is not possible. So, what we will do? We will borrow 1 from 4. So, now we will borrow 1 from 4. So, it will be 3 and here we will write only 60. We will not write 1. So, 60 plus 25. Now 60 plus 25 is 85. So now we will sub. Now 85 minus 55. So 5 minus 5 will be 0. 8 minus 5 will be 3. So your answer is 30. Then 3 minus 1 will be 2. So your answer for 4 hours 25 minutes minus 1 hour 55 minutes is equal to 2 hours 30 minutes. Now, moving ahead, question number 4, sum number 4. 6 hours 15 minutes minus 2 hours 45 minutes. Now, 6 hours 15 minutes minus 2 hours 45 minutes. So, now 15 minus 45 is not possible. So, we have borrowed 1 from 6. So, 5 is left and now here we wrote 60. So, 60 plus 15 will be 75 and 75 minus 45 will be 30. So 30 I wrote here. Then 5 minus 2 will be 3. So your answer for 6 hours 15 minutes minus 2 hours 45 minutes is equal to 3 hours 30 minutes. Understood student? Now this sums are over. We will be moving towards the word problem. So next question. Question number 3. You have to copy this word problem. A government office opens at 7 in the morning and closes at 3 in the afternoon. How long is this office 
open now students we have to find the duration for what time did the office was open so first step we will write the given so office opens at 7 am office closes at 3 pm find out how long does the how long the office was open now we have to find the duration so that is why we will use the operation as subtraction method now for math method also you have to make two columns one of hours one of minute now here i have wrote 15 why because the office closes at 3 pm now 3 pm in 24 hours is 15 hours so first we will write 15 minus 7 now we will subtract it 0 minus 0 0 minus 0 now 15 minus 7 is 8 so the answer is the government office was open for 8 hours understood student now moving to the next question question number 4 A movie starts at forty-five minutes past three in the afternoon and finishes two and a half hours later. At what time does the movie end? Given movie starts at three forty-five p.m., movie finishes after two and a half hour later. Find out at what time does the movie end. operation will be addition because we have to find the total time at what exactly the time the movie ends here at how much time the movie ran it shows and at what time it start we have to uh, find out the ends time so that is why we will use the sub operation as addition now for method make the hours and minutes column now first time is 345 means 45 minutes past 3 is 3:45 p.m. plus 2:30 means two and a half hour movie run. So we will write 2:30 over here. Now we will add it. 5 minus uh, sorry 5 plus 0 will be 5. 4 plus 3 will be 7. 3 plus 2 is 5. Now here it is more than 60. So we will subtract 75 minus 60. And we will add here one. So seventy-five minus sixty will be fifteen. Five plus one will be six. So your answer will be movie ends at six fifteen p.m. in the evening. Got it, student? Now moving ahead, our next question is question number five. Sakharam was plowing the field from eight in the morning. At twelve thirty in the afternoon, he stopped and started for home. He reached home at one thirty p.m. How long was he plowing the field? How long did he, it take him to reach home from the field? Now, students, here all the informations are given. Now, three times are given: eight in the morning, twelve thirty in the afternoon, and one thirty p.m. in the afternoon. And here we have to find two things. That means how long did he was plowing the field, and how much time he took to reach the home. So, given we will write, Sakharam started plowing at 8 a.m. He stopped plowing at 12:30 p.m. He reached home at 13:30 p.m. Now, here it is written 1:30 p.m. But in 24 hours, 1 p.m. means 13 hours. So, here it is 13:30 p.m. As I have mentioned over here, 1 p.m. in 24 hours clock is 13:30 p.m. Okay, now, now students, we will not write PM with thirteen thirty because in twenty four hours clock, we do not use PM or AM. Sorry for this. Now, next we will write the find out. First, find out how long the Sakaram was plowing the field. Second, how long does it took him to reach the home from field? Now here you have to solve two sums. Now the first we will find out. How much time did he was plowing the field? So operation for both the sums will be the subtraction because we have to find the total time. First we will find that how much time he took for plowing the field. Second we will find how much time he took for to reach the home. Now he stopped at twelve thirty minus he started at eight a.m. So thirty minus zero zero will be thirty, and twelve minus eight will be four. Second, we will 
write the time at what time he reached the home that is 13:30 minus at what time he started for the home means he stopped plowing and started moving towards the home so that was 12:30 so 30 minus 30 will be 0 and 13 minus 12 is 1 So your answer is he plowed the field for four hours thirty minutes as you can see it over here. Then next is he took one hour to reach home as you we have solved it. Understood, student? Both the sum. Now moving to the next sum. That is the last one. Now question number six is Ram Bhau started the water pump at ten thirty at night and put it off the same night at a quarter to twelve. How long was the water pump on? Given, we will write Ram Bhau started water pump at 10 p.m. Put it off at 11:45 p.m. Now your quarter to 12 is 11:45 p.m. Okay. Now find out how long was the water pump on. Now your operation will be subtraction as we have to find the total time. Means the duration for how long it was open. So for method. Hours and minutes column you will make. Now the first time we will write eleven forty five minus ten thirty. So forty five minus thirty will be fifteen. Eleven minus ten will be one. So your answer is water pump was on for one hour fifteen minutes. Understood, student? Now total four problem set or you will say four word problem we will do. Rest all we will not solve. so complete the book on time i will see you in the next class bye